Hi guys, this is Hamad from Code Genie, and today I am gonna talk about the difference between alias, import, and use in Elixir. So, in the object-oriented programming languages, most of them we can use objects, right, to access their properties and methods inside the class. But Elixir, uh, but Elixir is a functional programming language, so we use a, a different approach. Uh, a lot of functions inside modules and uh, we can access those functions uh, from other modules and this is how the function program actually works uh, so today I am go gonna show you in an ex example uh, that how we can uh, use alias import and use in elixir so first of all uh, let's uh, create a demo project so uh, mix is a command line tool for elixir and so if I want to create a new elixir project I just type to have mix new and then demo project like this so you see uh, it just creates uh, elixir project because if i want uh, to use a phoenix framework then i have to pass command like this phoenix dot new and the project name uh, so anyways this project is created now i will just dive into it and open it with my vs code the project as you uh, see opens uh, so the structure is actually quite simple formatter is just introduced uh, so that we can format our code automatically just run mix format and it's a really very very useful tool uh, development and then we have a config file and just nothing important in it just mix.config and then inside the lib we have the demo project live created okay uh, so here by default we have this hello world and we can also uh, this talk score here and run mix test then you can see that uh, one talk test one test and zero failure it's just the default configuration okay so uh, so I will remove all of this like that okay and then I will just uh, put a simple function uh, let's give it a name of hello uh, like this so it's a single line function so I don't have to use do and end block print like hello uh, okay uh, now what uh, and just save the file of course uh, so now you want to uh, execute this function look which is inside the demo project module so uh, just go through your terminal and run iex s mix okay now you are uh, inside the interactive elixir shell uh, it automatically loads all of your modules so just uh, check demo uh, project dot hello uh, and yes so it prints uh, hello world now how does it actually works so uh, demo project right uh, this is the name of our module which is a demo project and inside the module we have a hello function okay and this function just outputs hello world uh, nothing too fancy uh, so when you uh, go to your uh, interactive shell here you see that we first uh, call the name of the project which is demo project and then append with it with dot and then the hello the name of the function so what it does is just call that project and then the function inside it and it just print hello world so imagine this we have uh, multiple uh, functions right inside of our module in most of the times so instead of just doing a uh, uh, demo project every time you call a function this doesn't look good to call a function you just write a, a whole uh, name of the module and then the function name okay so what we, uh, I can use is alias here so like this alias demo project okay here uh, it shows demo project so of course uh, this module exists uh, in our code uh, so if I just now say uh, demo project sorry uh, no sorry uh, uh, let's change the name of our module first uh, so uh, I can just name it demo project dot demo project dot show okay uh, and then back here and I just hit recompile and just it uh, recompiles uh, the code and it's okay it means everything everything is working fine uh, so let's scroll this so I will alias uh, the demo project demo, pro demo project dot show so it's alias so now if I want to uh, access the uh, hello function what I can use is this show dot of course show is a capital sorry show dot hello so 
uh, it just prints out hello world which is again the output of our function uh, it, what it's showing is just simply uh, instead of using this whole uh, project name i am just using uh, this show okay uh, after the dot and it's just uh, give giving me the uh, hello world project so this is one way okay now what if you even don't want to append this show before the hello function what we can use is we can just you uh, import right import demo project dot show okay it's imported now instead of uh, just appending this show or this whole module name what i can do is just simply call hello okay hello and uh, right this just outputs the hello world so i'm not uh, i didn't just uh, append the demo project or demo project or show or just show okay i just imported that module into my system and uh, it just uh, I, if i just call the uh, function it just output the hello world so this is the difference between alias and import again if you use alias then you have to use the project name like here after the dot like show and uh, you can call this function show dot hello and it will output the hello world but if you want uh, to uh, just use the function and uh, not the module name you can use import uh, output of the function and you have to use the uh, demo project dot show so this is a simple use case for this now guys uh, i'm gonna uh, create a new module uh, i'll call it calling dot ex okay now inside it i'm just gonna define a module uh, remember the module name must always be start with a capital letter okay otherwise uh, it will throw an error so to end and block and here uh, just alias our the demo project module demo project show okay uh, now we uh, we alias the demo dot show and just define a simple function mm, i would call it calling okay uh, also single line function and here okay uh, now i can use show because i'm using alias so i can just use show dot hello okay uh, and i just, just save this and now go to a command line tool uh, and use calling okay the name of the our newly created module dot the name of the function which is calling okay so calling okay hello world so uh, in this module i am just alsing the demo project dot show which is here right this is the name of our previous module uh, i can just alias it and dot show okay now instead of calling this whole uh, name like demo project dot show here i am just using show because i am aliasing it now change is to import okay import and then remove this show dot hello like this save the file uh, go to your shell uh, just hit recompile okay uh, recompile okay just ignore this warning just now uh, okay hello okay now if you calling dot calling okay now we just uh, remove the uh, alias from demo project dot show okay uh, we use import now if we use import then it automatically loads all of this uh, module functions okay now just we are using the name of the function which is hello okay we are not just aliasing it or uh, uh, using the uh, project name or just using the show we are just using the function which is inside the demo project dot show uh, the keyword you in most cases for macros so just let's create a macro okay new file and i call it macro dot ex okay uh, let's define a module so this is hi dot elixir okay and this to end and pop uh, inside here i am now just uh, initializing a micro okay uh, like this that micro using uh, now we are not passing any options so we just gonna ignore it uh, okay and then do and end block uh, inside macros we also do code this is a uh, code we are written inside it like a function so we write a function inside the code uh, which is uh, elixir okay uh, and then the two clock and we just uh, 
Hello, Alexa. Okay, hello, Alexa, and just save it. Okay, uh, now go to your calling function. Okay, here after the import, uh, you use the keyword use and then the name of the this module hi dot elixir so hi dot elixir all right okay now save this uh, so guys i cleared the terminal so let's call our module which is calling and then the function inside the macro which is elixir so let's call it calling dot elixir and here we have hello elixir which is the output inside the elixir function which is hello elixir so by just uh, using use high dot elixir it automatically injects all of this code inside our calling module and so we have access to the elixir functions we don't have to call it we don't have to uh, like pass the argument it automatically just inject it and we can use it uh, like this uh, so here uh, and just recompile okay it doesn't recompile okay because we didn't change anything so okay so we have an error about uh, this hello function so we just save it and we just do recompile recompiling okay now we didn't get that uh, ambiguity error for hello because I added this parenthesis around the hello okay uh, so guys uh, that's it let me know uh, if this lecture helps and please give suggestions if you want something to improve uh, and also please subscribe and like this video and leave a comment it will be very helpful uh, okay guys I will see you in the next video